Right. Well, we're here with Amy Nicholson. She's going to tell us her story about how she managed to, yes, get run over by a deer and, yes, still survive. Amy, could you please tell us your story and do not be shy. I won't be shy. Um, so I was biking, hardcore biking, needless to say, on Wood Road um, on Tuesday afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was watching this very pretty doe walk in front of me. Um, it was random because it was the middle of the day. So I was focused on that, watched her walk up over the hill, and then I heard something rumble off to my right, and it was this massive buck in mid-air off the hill. Um, the only thing I could do is pray that its rack would not hit me. Um, a lot of my friends are telling me I should have ducked, but there wasn't enough time. Um, so the back of its hoof like clicked me in the back of the neck. Um, it, it knocked me down off my bike, landed on top of me. Um, needless to say, I am not a huge fan of big deer landing on me. Um, it rolled, got up, and ran away. So it was the it was the scariest hit and run accident I've ever been in in my life. But um, adrenaline was kicking, um, so I biked the whole way back to Carnes. I made it back there, and that's when I realized that I was in a lot more pain than I thought. Um, yeah, that's my story. And then um, Kate went and found my deer. We cut the antlers off, and she stuffed it for me. So I have it as a keepsake. So uh, can we get a a brief history of, of, of what's happened to you in the uh, past with uh, medical conditions? Um, I've had four previous concussions. Um, one of them was involving Bob Karwalski. Uh, we were playing ultimate frisbee and he decided to take his anger out on me and, and turned around and just hammered me to the ground and my head hit a rock. Um, I fractured my neck and, and got a concussion and then the next time, well the time before that was um, on a rainy day on a mission trip in Harrisburg and Seth Gerard um, slid into a 15 passenger van door and, and the door closed on my head um, slamming my head between the frame and the door um, so that was quite painful but it caused a concussion um, time before that someone pushed me down the steps and I landed on a cement floor and I got a concussion and a broken arm and when I was two um, my brother and I were at the grocery store with my dad, and there's signs on the back of the grocery cart that say, do not ride on the grocery cart. Um, they were meant for me and my brother, because he flipped the grocery cart, I landed on my head, um, and got another broken arm. So, I'm, I'm accident prone. Uh, did you uh, receive any celebrity status while you were in the hospital? Um, I did have doctors coming from all over the place. Um, in the hospital, I had people from neuro and everywhere coming in to, to meet this girl who had survived the, the fear of a buck hitting them and taking them to the ground. A lot of people thought I was on a motorcycle, so when I tell them I was on a pedal bike going up a hill, um, they were in a lot more shock that a deer would just kind of plow into me and knock me to the ground. But yeah, I, I got to meet like every doctor, every nurse, um, random people. My neighbor was in the room next to me, so I got to meet all his visitors too. So, my name got spread around, that's for sure. So, Amy, could this possibly be bad karma for hunting all these past years? Well, that's what I've been told. I've been told that this could have been um, maybe the, the dad of the deer I killed this last fall, which would be kind of depressing. Um, but I hope not. I have about 12 people that are going to help me nicely take care of this deer in the fall, hopefully. So anyway, that is a story of Amy Nicholson. This happened on a, a nice Tuesday afternoon at 1 o'clock. And no, there was no rain. <laughs> Wasn't even a hint of rain, actually. And it was broad daylight. This deer managed to crush her body, her brittle body, as a, a doctor has put it. And uh, she's still alive. We praise God for that. And... Uh, we praise God uh, for what he will do in Amy's life. Thank you. That is Ken Hosmith live in Amy's house. Have a good day.